This is the new Mercedes C-Class Cabriolet. And as you can see, with the roof down, it's a really beautiful looking car. Little wonder then that Mercedes can get away with charging from £35,000 for one. Still, if you click up there to go to carwow.co.uk, you can save an average of £2,400 on this car. Now with the roof up, because it's a fabric top rather than a hard top, it does remind me a little bit of a man wearing a toupee. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see that now. It's a bit of a shame because it is still a beautiful looking car. And the reason for having the roof up for this part of the review is so you can get a better idea of the car's practicality for when you're driving it around most of the time, which you will do with the roof up, let's be honest. Now, unsurprisingly enough, this Cabriolet is pretty much identical in size to this E-Class Coupe. So the dash design is lovely, it's sporty and the quality, it's impressive as well throughout. And some equipment is good as well, so you get Artico leather seats, which is actually bait leather to you and me, and you get things like climate control, automatic windscreen wipers, and headlamps. You also get a seven inch screen up there, which does look a little bit cheap and nasty, so you're better off upgrading to the larger screen you get with a command online system. And still, the whole system isn't quite as intuitive to use as BMW's iDrive. And if you click up there, you can watch our full in-depth review of the infotainment system. Further than that, you know, this is quite a practical convertible. So you've got a big glove box, there's plenty of space under there. The door bins can hold a massive bottle of water. And there's even some useful practicality here in the back of the car. Like the way this seat moves forward to help you get in. So here we are, we've got some cubby space down here. And if I sit up and pull this chair back, let it slide back to my driving position. Well, yeah, okay, so headroom's pretty tight back here. My head is touching the roof. If I slouch, I can get away with it. These seat backs are quite upright, but I could do I could do a few miles in the back of here, no problem at all. And if you need some added practicality to carry some big items, you can actually fold down these seats and you get some through loading there. And that doth bring us onto the boot. So, wait for the chair to slide forward. I'll just pop the boot open. Now for this kind of car, the size is actually all right. Now you'll probably notice this thing here. You have to have that down when you're going to take the roof down. But if you want to carry as much as you can, you can pop it out the way. As long as you've got the roof up, you can do that. And then the boot is bigger, some extra storage under here. And if you look, we seem to have, oh, yeah, there we go. Mercedes likes to do this. You can get these optional baskets for some reason for your cabriolet. Well, if you click up there, you can watch our full in-depth practicality video and you'll be able to see just how much stuff you can fit in this car's boot, how easy it is to fit a child seat and what it's like with two adults in the back seat. So what's the Mercedes C-Class Cabriolet like to drive? Now convertibles are always a bit of a compromise. You know, you chop off the roof, you reduce the structural rigidity of the car. So the manufacturer tries to get around that by adding extra bracing and that adds weight. And still you often feel the car shake over bumps. Thing is though, with this Mercedes C-Class Cabriolet, there's hardly any difference between it and the coupe. It's just as comfortable. It seems to handle pretty much as well, even though it is heavy, it really does disguise its extra bulk very well because it's about hundred kilos more. This is just a really nice car to cruise around in with the roof up and it's well insulated as well. Hardly any wind or road noise. My only problem really is the rearward visibility. You've got massive pillars at the back and they create huge blind spots. And if you click up there to join me for my 360 degree passenger ride video, you can see for yourself. So then this car is great with the roof up, but it's even better with the roof down and I can operate the roof at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. So that's handy if you know, the weather suddenly gets good and you want to take the roof down as you drive along in traffic. There we go, didn't take too long at all. It's all very efficient, all very German actually. And now, yeah, you can really enjoy the experience just wafting around, wind in your hair. Well, it doesn't have to be in your hair too much because if I press this button, I can raise a special spoiler just up here and there's an extra air deflector at the back, which just completely cuts out all wind buffeting, even for people in the back. I mean, it's a really nice system. And on a slightly cold day like today, I can press this button here to blow hot air out of the vents just behind my headrest, and then it's all nice and toasty. Now, this car is actually a 2.1 litre diesel, and yeah, diesels and convertibles aren't great, but you know, it's punchy enough. It's a C220D. You can get an even more powerful C250D the only issue I have with it is the fact that when you put your foot down, this engine is quite rough. It's a bit of a shame because you can also get petrol engines in this car and they sound better, especially if you go for one of the high performance 
AMG models. Can't fault the economy though. This thing's supposed to do 61 miles per gallon and the trick computer says I'm doing 51. I'll take that. However, not everything about the Mercedes C-Class Cabriolet is perfect. Here's five annoying things about it. There's no external boot release. You can only do it using the key or from inside the car. These sun visors, yeah, they're just a little bit cheap and nasty considering the price of this car. This gloss black trim looks great, but it scratches easy. You better not do that. I scratched it. I am. <laughs> if you take the roof down with people in the back, you need to let them know to move the head forward slightly, otherwise that happens. So very rude. The distance lights for the rear parking sensors are partially obscured by the wind deflector. Thankfully, these are all minor niggles, as there's plenty to like about the C-Class Cabriolet. Here's five cool things. When you get into the car, a little seatbelt buckler passes you your harness. A little graphic in front of you shows you where the roof is in its process of operation, so you know exactly what's going on without having to turn round. This car has an electrically operated steering column, because in a Mercedes, you really shouldn't have to do things manually. Under this badge is the reversing camera, and that helps keep the lines nice and clean. The optional LED intelligent lights will adjust their beam automatically depending on the conditions and rotate to help guide you around the corner. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on this car at carwow.co.uk. So what's my final verdict on the C-Class Cabriolet? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Do you know what? If I was after a convertible, I'd go right ahead and buy it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And if you click over there, you can watch our 360 degree passenger ride, in depth entertainment, and practicality video reviews for this car.